<sighs> Guns! This bandana makes me look... Faye? I've been out working in the sun all day and the back of my neck is just like... You know, there's first degree burns, second degree burns, and third degree burns. I think I got like a sixth degree burn. It's not just uh, blisters with, with black charcoal. I think the whole bloody thing has just turned the carbon. Very uncomfortable. So I put some shit on it and then I wrapped it up. <sighs> this is a reply video to... The fine fellow named Wayne Fillmore, he made a video called, and I kid you not, Debunking Atheism. And I'm kind of hoping that it's a joke and that it's like a, uh, you know, a spoof, but I'm not sure. So here we go. My name is Wayne Fillmore, and I'll be your host for this evening's programming. Greetings, Wayne, and I very much hope that you don't mind if I make a reply video less than sober. Thousands of people around the globe are inflicted with the terrible mental disorder called atheism. That's right, in the same sense that not believing leprechauns exist is a mental disorder. In the same sense that not having hair is a mental disorder. Atheism is a mental disorder that takes nearly 4.8 million people around the globe. Actually, the number of atheists on the planet probably number more than 1 billion people. There are a great many sects of Buddhism that have no gods in there at all. And there's a bloody hell of a lot of Buddhists out there. There's also hundreds of millions of atheists out there who are not Buddhist or have any philosophy out there that some people consider religion, which Buddhism is a religion, it just doesn't have any gods in it. Uh, a great many Japanese and Chinese religions don't have any gods in them. Well more than a billion atheists out there. And lacking belief in the gods doesn't make them mentally ill. It probably makes them mentally sound, I suspect. And it convinces the victims that there is no such thing as truth. Huh? I have met literally hundreds of atheists and not one of them have ever said that there's no such thing as truth. I suspect if you ask every single atheist will say by God, there is such a thing as truth. This has absolutely nothing to do with believing the gods exist or not. Truth has absolutely nothing at all to do with the gods. How is this not bloody obvious? There is no God. Only a very tiny subset of atheists have said or will ever say there are no gods. That's not part of being an atheist. An atheist does not say there are no gods. An atheist doesn't say anything about the gods existing or not. Atheists merely lack belief that the gods exist. Totally different thing entirely than saying the gods don't exist. Uh, personally, I have met one atheist out of hundreds who has said that there are no gods. And I told that person, he's wrong. For all he knows, there are gods. This has absolutely nothing to do with atheists and atheism. Why is that not obvious also? We all came from a big explosion. I didn't. We evolved from a puddle of soup to fish to apes to men. No, we did not. Also, please note that human beings are apes, so we didn't evolve from apes to human beings. Human beings are still apes. What the bloody fuck does that have to do with atheists and atheism? And they have absolutely no evidence to claim this. And just for five dollars every month, you can generously donate and fund an atheist today. Huh? That's how it would be if I had a atheist campaign to fund atheists. Now, a lot of atheists would have you think they're logical thinkers, they reason, they're smart, they're so great as scientists. Ha! 
you haven't met any of my atheist friends. A lot of them are just fucking morons. They're not smart, they're not intelligent, they're not, they sure as hell aren't scientists. They're just atheists. They lack belief in the gods. They're, they don't even think that they are smart. I don't know where the fuck you're getting this. Atheists all believe that they're smart, intelligent, and scientists. It's not even anywhere close to being true. I'm, I'm sorry to say. I'm a perfect example of not being smart, not being intelligent, and sure as hell I'm not a scientist. I don't know where the hell you're getting that, uh, Wayne, but it's not a part of being an atheist. Um, they don't make any of those claims about themselves. I'm sorry. And sure, atheists can be great actors, atheists can be great scientists, they can be great producers, they can be great businessmen, they can be great mathematicians. Yes, atheists can be great at things, but in order for them to do anything, they have to reject their own belief in atheism. Me huh, one of us is confused, and I sure as hell hope it isn't me. How does one re reject a non-belief of a belief in not believing the gods exist. I honestly can't imagine what the hell you're talking about. Atheism, the lack of a belief, a specific belief, i.e. that the gods exist. How does one reject not believing something? I seriously, I just don't get it. this. When a Christian has a disagreement with another Christian, because they have an ultimate standard or because they have an ultimate authority, which is the Bible, then if two Christians disagree on a morally objective subject, they can go to the Bible. Yes, and in a great many cases, the Bible tells them mutually exclusive different things entirely what to believe, which is why Christians have been slaughtering Christians throughout history over what the Bible said in one place being totally different than what the Bible said in another place and one group of Christians believing one section of the Bible and the other group of Christians believing the other section of the Bible bloody history of Christians slaughtering Christians by the millions because the Bible disagreed with itself when two Muslims disagree about a morally subjective subject, they can go to the Quran. And when two exactly, ditto for Islam. You know how many Islam sects out there disagree with each other on things that they have found in the Quran? Dozens, and they're killing each other. What's your point? You disagree on. An issue, they can go to the Torah. Yes, and afterwards, they continue to disagree with each other. So? But when two atheists disagree, well, who do they go to? Who do they turn to? It's called the human brain. It's generally located up here. I know there's a hell of a lot of politicians in the United States where it's way down here in the southern region. When atheists disagree, brain, evidence, reason, discussing issues, 13.8% alcohol definitely helps lubricate the process. After debate and discussion, if atheists still disagree, why is that a problem? Why not continue to disagree? Uh, they can go to scientists, but then again, if they're atheist scientists, then what is their ultimate authority? Not and the answer is evidence. That is the ultimate authority. Evidence. If there is no evidence to support or refute a hypothesis, the hypothesis is not accepted, nor is it rejected. 
It is held in abeyance until evidence is produced to support or refute that hypothesis. This is the ultimate authority. Evidence. How is this not uh, obvious? Um, I don't get that part either. That seemed pretty damn obvious to me. Their authority they can go to sometimes, but what authority do atheists consistently go to? That question does not make any sense. What authority do bald people consistently go to? What authority do people who do not collect postage stamps go to? Atheism. The lack of a belief that the gods exist. As a group, they have absolutely no beliefs in common. So saying what authority atheists go to does not make any sense at all. Which is their ultimate authority for how they live their lives. It depends on the atheist in question. And the answer to that question is, well, in atheism, the minute you say there is no God... Almost 100% of atheists out there have never said that, will never say that. Saying there are no gods is not something atheists do. Which God being the ultimate authority... Uh, you do realize, right, that there are hundreds of gods? Which one of those or which group of those are the ultimate authorities? The minute you say there is no God... Yeah, as soon as atheists start doing that, do complain, okay? then you don't believe in an ultimate authority. So I reject the claim that there is an ultimate authority out there because I have seen zero evidence that there is such a thing. If you want to change my mind, step forward and produce some evidence showing there is such a thing as an ultimate authority. What the hell are you waiting for? Be the first on the planet to do that. For any atheist to say anything is true or false, they have to deny their atheism. They have to step out of their atheism and believe in God when it's convenient. I'm sorry, Wayne. By the way, my name is David. I'm sorry, Wayne, but there is your problem. There is your confusion. Your confusion is that you believe that that which is true and that which is false is predicated upon not just the existence that the gods ex uh, exist, but the belief that they do. That is a false belief on your part. I am sorry, there is no more polite way to put that. Things are true and things are false regardless of if the gods exist or not, regardless of if, if people believe the gods exist or not. This is demonstrably true. For them, this itself is logically retarded. It makes no sense, and it just shoots atheism right in the foot, or atheism shoots itself in the foot. The problem is you don't know what atheism is. You don't know what atheist as a group don't believe in. If I had another bottle of my homemade brew open, I would sit down with you, we could discuss it, um, not in a gay way, even though I'm wearing this bandana, and we could have some discourse here. Maybe you could understand what atheists don't agree on. They don't agree, they don't disagree on anything. It is merely, like I said, a lack of belief that the gods exist. If you want to group them all together, that is not a valid thing to do. Um, what more can I say? It's just as simple as that. You do not understand what atheism is. It's a self-refuting lack of belief and authority. No, atheists do not lack belief in authority. Has absolutely nothing to do with atheism. Atheists have authorities. Just not 
ones that you believe in. Paper gods. Uh, I really don't get that either. How is that not obvious? It's a lack of belief in truth. It's a lack. Huh? Atheists do not lack belief in truth. If anything, atheists embrace truth. You're just making shit up now. A belief in right or wrong, so... Atheists do believe in right and wrong! Ah! You're... This has got to be a joke, right? Your, your video really is a joke. You're not serious, right? And I fell for it, right? For any atheist to pretend like they have morals. Well, you don't. You're an atheist. For anybody to say God is immoral, okay, well, where do you get your morals from? I get my morals from my innate sense of what is right and what is wrong. Specifically, what causes harm and what does not. If it causes harm to any living thing or the environment upon which living things require existence thereupon, it is wrong. In many cases, my innate sense of what is right and what is wrong is contrary to what my society and my culture says is right and wrong because I am morally superior to any group that you can mention because I am an individual. I have a brain. I can understand what is right and what is wrong. A group cannot because it is a group and it often a group will go to the lowest common denominator which in a hell of a lot of cases devolves, if I may use the word, to believing that evil is good and that good is evil. I, as an individual, know otherwise. It has absolutely nothing at all to do with the gods existing or not, let alone my believing that they exist or not. Oh, well, I don't have any morals. What? If you don't have any morals, why are you saying that God is immoral? You have to use God's own morals against God when it's convenient for you, when you don't even believe in morals. In atheism, it's not wrong for me to do anything. You have absolutely no idea what atheism is. In atheism, I could chop somebody's balls off, and it would be completely okay. Okay, Wayne, so what you are really saying to boil all of this down, to boil your video and what you have said in your video, what you are saying. If you were to wake up some morning and realize, you would say to yourself, you know, I no longer believe that my gods exist. I can go out and chop people's balls off now. That is what you are saying. You are saying, if you suddenly no longer believed that your gods exist, everything that you could possibly do, every evil that you could commit upon the world would be okay because you no longer believe that your gods exist. That is what you are saying. That makes me a hell of a lot more morally superior to you. So, I am retracting my invitation for you to come here and share some of my home brew, even with my gay bandana. I don't want you anywhere near me. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.